now because there are five waiting. <laughs> Should be ready to go. Really? Should be started. Nothing's broadcast. Oh, there it goes. <laughs> Let me mute that. Okay. All right. Sorry, everyone. <clears throat> oh, fucking Nick. Jeez. Nothing like that here. Hey, I'm all settled now. I'm looking at Jack. Have you moved already? Yep. All right, this is a request from Dennis. I had never heard this song in my life, and probably none of you have either. I'm the postman. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Ooh. Okay. <clears throat> now I got my rhythm all off like in the postman. Oh, I'm sorry. All right. Ride. I used to jump my horse and ride. I had a six gun at my side. I was so handsome that women cried. <laughs> I'm a ramble caster, so that's probably a lie. We could play if I do everything he'd say. We just seem to get in Jay's way. Those days we weren't considered fun. A ramble caster's work is never done. That's by Sonny and Cher. <laughs> that's, why, that's, why, that's, why, that's why I recognize so, it. So familiar. I, I think that's one of their, their top five hits. How come you didn't sing Babe? I got you, babe. Because that's not the song that was requested. Oh. Oh, we'll have to talk to Dennis. Maybe he can do And the Beat Goes On. <clears throat> and the Beat Goes On. People, people like the B-sides. They, you know, they want the stuff that no one's heard before. That way they don't sing along. And yet, ah. <clears throat> and yet they never pick it when it comes to a verses, though, right? Huh? No. Yeah. And, and yet they never pick the B-sides. They never pick the B-sides. Yeah. Well, speaking of verses, let's just get this out of the way. Last time I checked, Chips Ahoy won. So, oh, uh, screw you. There you go. Stupid. Yeah. Commercially baked, you know. You know, Not like bait, made in a homemade right oven. Chip, chips so you, I, someone should have picked Thin Mints. Someone should have done been Jay. Yeah, I screw Thin, thin Mints. <laughs> They're way overrated. So wow. So, so are you, Chips Ahoy. So you're giving bags. you're giving Thin Mints the uh, the uh, In and Out treatment. I will tell you that of all the boxes of Girl Scout cookies that we still have left uh, in our house, it's a box of Thin Mints. And it'll probably stay that way for a while. So, so no one in your family likes Thin Mints. So, I, I, as much as I feel like that is not the winning choice of cookie, I think that's a ridiculous statement that you're not going to eat them. Thin Mints are fucking delicious. They are delicious, and I will eat them. However, eventually, I will. They're say, not the best Girl Scout. That's all I'm saying. I will say they're not the best mint cookie. Nick, hmm? who had it with uh, Keebler's. Grasshopper. You mean Keeblers that nobody knows they even exist? What? Grasshopper. <laughs> Grasshopper. Are better than Thin Mints. Yeah. yeah let's, put it, let's put it to a vote. <laughs> let's put it to a vote in the chat. How many people we, we have in the chat? We have, we have two people, so it's going to be a tiebreaker. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Who's hanging out in the chat today? We have, uh, oh, we have Dennis and JP. Yeah. Excellent. Looks like Dennis was uh, a fan of your rendition of Sonny and Cher. He wow. uh, Quote, quote, quote says, uh, bravo, with two mm-hmm. exclamation points. <laughs> and the beat goes on. And That's JP cool. says, grandma made me some homemade cookies today. I threw them in her face <laughs> and cracked open a bag of Chips Ahoy. <laughs> <laughs> there you go, JP. Well, that's just stupid because you don't, nobody, it, it, unless your grandma <laughs> can't cook. That's what I think he's saying. Okay. Because oh, yeah. my, my grandmother used to make the best... Uh, the best sugar, best sugar, no, best sugar cookies, uh, Pennsylvania yes. sugar cookies. They were the best. And we go to Pennsylvania. Oh, one year where he, I go, Grandma, you're just the best at making these. She goes, oh, I don't, because she got older and I felt kind of bad afterwards. She goes, oh, I don't make these anymore. I get them from the neighbor. <laughs> I said, I said, this is the best batch you've ever had. <laughs> <laughs> so I kind of felt bad for that. But she used to make the best Pennsylvania Dutch sugar cookies. They were just perfect. They're like big, like almost like a plate size, like a oh, saucer wow. plate size cookie, 
And it just, if you've never had them, they're a gift from God. Nice. Maybe, maybe I can make some, I mean, I'll have my daughter make some and I'll bring them to the, the, the get together. So anyone that shows up can have them. Great. The people that show up anyway. You're picking me up from the airport still, right? Uh, me? Or yeah. yeah I, you, you offered. I offered. A, I have a. I have a granddaughter five days a week. How am I going to? And I don't have a car. I, five days know. a week. You what? Gonna, you're going to ride on my. Are you not riding with Dan? No, I'm not riding with Dan. He's I, got this wedding. What time? Do you, what time do you land? I don't know. Some some time in the afternoon on on Friday. I want to have a car. Okay, that's Uber. all right. Uber. I mean, I'll, I, I'll I, figure something out. Well, talk to Jay. Okay. Because Cindy works, and we only have one car now. Jay can't even make the show. You think he's going to make the <laughs> fucking airport? Come on. <laughs> well, he'll pick up Matt. He likes Matt. Yeah. Matt Matt's he likes favorite. Matt. That he is. Are you not- if Nick or Christian showed up, and be like, oh, fuck that. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I, heard, yeah, I heard Matt's getting his own show. He is. Yeah, yeah so I, apparently I missed something. So we, we did have the Hangouts. Was it yesterday? Yeah, yeah, it was last yes. night. Mm-hmm. Uh, and that that was a, a fairly last minute, like within, you know, last minute time change. Unfortunately, I, I couldn't make it. It was I supposed was to be Sunday, working. but then we had yeah. to do an interview with Ryan and Jen. But I didn't even know. I didn't know we were doing that on Sunday. They said they told me, but I <laughs> but I, I don't remember. I said, sure, whatever you need, whatever you need. You also forgot that Jay asked you to help him set up for this toy show. Yeah, he never, he never, <laughs> he never, he never asked that. Classic dad move. Uh, I guess he did. I, I guess he did ask. Tell Cindy he might need some help, but mm-hmm. it didn't do anything with messing our son's first t-ball game, our grandson's first t-ball game. You can't miss I, that. You're, so, you're going to miss it. I'm going to miss it to help Jay with his toy show. I heard at least, I, at least I'm not doing the where I'm. I, I'm running his booth where people come up. Is that an original such and such? Go so from the 1925 such and such. I don't know. How can you not know that? You're back behind the counter, dude. You got to know these things. So wait, does that mean that Jay is missing his son's first t-ball game? Yes, that is correct. Yeah. And that's his argument. Saying that's that's well, bullshit. That, that, I, put, that, I, put I put that I, on I, him. I, I get that, and, he, and this is his argument. He goes, "Well, I'm messing it. Why should you go?" I go, "But you had a choice. I, I'm not. I have, I have no choice in this. If I had a choice, I would choose to go to my grandson's first t-ball game." Uh, Jay, you have to stuff. go to this thing, dude. This is like this I, I heard is, the mayor is throwing out the first t-ball. This is this is. <laughs> This is like my story I had with my dad who fucked up all my Legos. You can't not go to your your son's <laughs> first t-ball game. 40 years later. Whatever I'm still fucking pissed. 38 years ago. Thanks, Jack. Um, okay, I couldn't remember. I, I thought you were in your 40s. Well, it would have been less than that. It was probably 32 years ago. But okay. you're, I, it's still it's still with me. Just Zach, Zach's going to be traumatized by toys. So yeah. I, I imagine a future in which he's going to be using the baseball bat to vintage toys. Jack's going to grow up and he is going to like break other kids toys because he's going to have this deep rooted um, <laughs> hatred towards action figures and dolls. You'll think he's a serial killer, but no, it's just, it's just a uh, reaction. Deep, deep rooted. Yeah. yeah. So, He'll but, be sit, but, sitting him up on T-ball stands everywhere. Well, you guys agree with me. Jay's argument that he, sh- because he can't go, we, sh- we shouldn't be able to go. Jay says that I don't, Charles I don't. Manson's dad missed his first son's T ball game. So yeah. I, bet he, I bet he did. His son's first T ball game, yeah. He wrote a couple of good tunes for the Beach yeah. Boys. Yeah. Wait, so who's who is going? Colleen. Okay. That's it. Mom of the year. Well, because it started, I, I I asked, I said, Hey, can we do a uh, uh, our crazy life? I mean get your son's T ball game, and he goes, No. And I go, I'm thinking, why you won't let me go? I, mean, I, the, I can see. I, I sympathize with Jay because I understand that he probably had an overbearing father figure that always <laughs> yelled at him, <laughs> uh, like, "Why can't you throw a ball? Why can't yeah. you? You set it up on the tee. It's on the tee. You just hit the ball, Jay." And, you know, now, like, now, it, it, I was the exact opposite. He's probably scarred. The only, the only thing I told Jay was, I used to tell him this all the time when I would throw fly balls to him. And he would just do this with his gloves. I'm going to get in trouble about how you throw the ball in the future. No, this is what it, 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 he'd move his arm like this. I go, Jay, if you have to move your glove, you have to move your legs. I used to say that over. I go, what are we not getting here? I go, if your glove goes back, you got to go back with your glove. 
and it never sunk in because I don't think he wanted to do it. So I was like, I go, Jay, you got you, every fly ball. They're not going to hit it right to you. You got to you got to move. You got to move. So, so but I never I never yelled at him like that. Was the uh, the photo that you posted at Jack in seventy shorts hitting the baseball? Was that a uh, it was an 80 shorts. 80 shorts. Okay. Was that I, probably, I probably crushed it too. Be, yeah, be probably. Better. I figured you're, yeah, you're about you're one inch be... for having your balls crush it out the side of your leg. Yeah. Those shorts that's, are a little that's, too revealing. That's, that's how we roll. That. That's how, you imagine sliding in those things? Yeah. Oh, God. Right, the secret to the riddle is that you got to keep your eye on the ball. <laughs> you do. And, well, each eye, I guess, right? Right. right, sure. Hello. You got to <laughs> open each eye first to watch That's, the ball. Sorry, I used to have. I used to have. I would have such. Uh, so I used to play uh, baseball on uh, softball on Saturday, and then baseball on Sunday. And I'd have my. I just have raspberries all the way up my. So I'd stick to my sheets because I was so. Oh, yeah. that's, before, uh, that's before they had. That's before they had sliding. You know, they finally get developed sliding shorts. Actually. Before they wore pants. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> Usually, you just usually you just wore those shorts. That's all we would do. Yeah, but you know, Warm Taffy used to wear. You know, this. Sh- I don't know if the uh, Hooters girls still wear them, but Warm Taffy used to wear those pants to play softball. Wow, and they that's even terrible. Shorter. And I go, dude, look, I can't be, I can't be behind you. You, you, you got to put because he'd be the pitcher. I go, come on, you, you, this is not fair to the batter. First, <laughs> is Johnson's <laughs> just flopping out the side it's, of the short. It's not. Even though they're on the other team, it's not fair that they're laughing and trying to hit at the same time. <laughs> I'm, just, not, not, not. I'm just picturing like him you know, swinging the bat and like a bear being like him missing the ball, but then the other bat swings along with it. You know? <laughs> like, that'd be, that'd I can tell be you, a, I'm definitely not picturing that, but thanks, Nick. <laughs> he even wore but that was in the 80s, but then we were playing softball in the uh, 90s, late 90s, and he was still, I go, dude, really, you got to retire those shorts. Because, you know, plus, you know, he got a little wider and he's still wearing those same shorts. I go, I get the elastic it's stretching, but I, I don't know. But that's, that was, that was, that's warm taffy for you. But that's the shorts we had. OP shorts. It's, that's how they fit. Well, that was well, a good I'm picture. Glad, I'm, glad that, that, I'm definitely glad that that generation is. Uh, you can draw that for us, Matt. Gone. That was Magnum. <laughs> that was Magnum PI. <laughs> yeah. Casey has struck out. <laughs> so it's been it's been a minute since we've all been together because yes. uh, of last yeah. week's uh, issues that we've had. Oh my failure. gosh! I mean, it almost brought this whole podcast to a screeching halt. Yeah, Jack right? quit. I did quit. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Oh, so, that's, what, that's, what, that's what started it. Yeah. So th- that's what started. It. I, I've seen a, a number of of posts in our Instagram of uh, Jack quitting, and then it's just the, it's just the Matt show going forward. <laughs> no, that's, that's uh, not quite it. No, I, I forget how – what happened was I was getting crap for promoting the – how I promote the show. From I, from, from Matt? Matt, I, no, no, Matt okay. Jay, uh, Dude, Colleen, to and be, I'm like going – To be fair, I brought uh, Chris and Nick into this. Discussion. You did. You... And, and I basically just mentioned how we've all shit on your uh, choice of text. And, oh, uh, yeah, the font, font in color. Yeah. yeah. So, okay, fair. see, okay, there we go. Chris, I have. Chris, I, I, I've definitely shat on your fonts. Out of context, uh, and and Jack is frozen, so this is perfect to just oh, really yeah. crap on him. He probably sure. still hears though. Uh, yeah. yeah. <laughs> well, I mean, episode title font shitter. I mean, that's pretty much what it is. Um, Nobody can put shitter in the in the. Title. So oh, yeah. So immediately he, you know, I bring up the font thing, and then he just like, fine, I just quit, you know, <laughs> and. Uh, so, oh, some, no. I'll somewhere your tweets. <laughs> you no, just, the, the you Jack can, font, just do it. Yeah. The Jack font is like you know, in eighth grade when you first get access to a computer and you have to you can like design really cool things in MS Paint. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. And it was like I'm gonna make this cool sign with gradients. <laughs> yeah. Now I will That's, say I will say the one time that, that he really brought us is A game. Was was the uh, time that he misspelled cherry? Um, <laughs> yeah. I like that font, you know, in that combination. Um, but uh, but then He's there was this oh 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 hey. So anyway, oh hey Jack, welcome so, back. So Hashtag, anyway, uh, welcome back. Fonts. So I don't know how far you are in the conversation, but I we're done take, taking a bunch of <laughs> taking a bunch of crap for it. 
So I said, I go, you know what? Fuck it. I go, I know we have no listeners and we don't need to, we don't need to uh, promote, but you know, what? fuck it. You do it. Right. Yeah. I go, you guys can do it. I go, no one's stopping you guys to do it. Everyone has the password. Everyone has the username. But yet I'm the one trying to push it. I, I, go, fuck I, it. I, I go, fuck it. I quit. <laughs> so I said, fuck it. I quit. And that's when I put in block letters with the, uh, was it, was it red letters? No, white letters with whatever it is with red. I just said, Black and red, you're yeah. classic. Mm-hmm. I go, you, you can do it. I, I quit. And then I, Matt, they talked about Matt having, they said, well, Matt, who is it, Jay or someone said, well, Matt should just do his own podcast. I, I don't know. I, I don't know how that came up. I, I'm not promoting it as, as a Matt podcast, but, you know, um, maybe maybe it was mentioned. So but, so I said, okay, fine. Matt can have his own podcast. I don't, I don't care. I think I think there was actually some well warmed reception to that idea. Like like there'd be some people. I, I think I, well, the people in the group, but they're all brown noses, so it's like. Okay. <laughs> would I, you, said, would, I, I said I don't care. Go ahead, Nick. Would you retweet promotions for the Mattcast? <laughs> oh, absolutely. <laughs> I mean, it would just be a lot of pictures of Matt, of Meowsers. You know, yeah, like you know, I see Matt. I see know. Matt promoting the Owen Brews barbecue like daily. I don't think you guys have done a podcast in like six years. No, nah, it's more like six months. But you know, okay. Was, but you, you you have you have the Ramblecast out once a week, struggling to get listeners, viewers. Yeah. Yes. No. 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 No to Nicholas. What? No one else can see this, right? Right. <laughs> yeah. Nobody can see our chat. Don't put it in the other chat. There's two okay. chats going. Okay. So. I tried, I tried to log into this the other day, and it gets me to a passcode, and I don't know. Did, ooh, Matt just got up and left? Here, here's the password I'm, I'm promoting for you guys. Here it is. There you go. Put it in our chat. The other chat. <laughs> uh, am I still here? Am I gone? <laughs> oh. It's the best. Uh, oh, look, someone's getting a little uh, frisky in the YouTube chat over here. Who was it? Ramblecast guy? <laughs> yeah, Ramblecast guy. <laughs> ah. Oh, there we go. I did, uh, so, hey, let, me, I, let me log in. Cool. I definitely well, posted well, the Instagram page. Uh, you know, a couple of days. You're pretty. You're, you're pretty. You're pretty good at it, Chris. Oh, thanks. You're pretty. <laughs> Thank you, guys. <laughs> but I I barely promoted it this week on Twitter. I mean, I just I I you know I try to get fancy little. You want bright stuff. You want something that's going to stand out, not the same old crap. And but people want the block, same old print. So I'll just put that. But I'm not doing. I'm, I quit. And it only upsets me that only one person cared that I quit. <laughs> <laughs> you, think, you think you'd have more people? With, you know, um, the Drake by Felicia. No, screw you. You screw you, Drake. You were in the chat. Screw you. Did he comment? He did. Hashtag. <laughs> oh, man. Dick. Who? What? <laughs> uh, well, um, to be fair, you know, it did happen on April Fool's Day. So most people were just like, uh, that's just an April Fool's joke. Yeah, I thought about that after I posted, but no, I, I, I'm done. You guys promote it. So, speaking of April Fools, what was your favorite April Fools uh, gags that you may have come across yesterday? I don't, know, I don't believe it. I don't believe any of them. So, yeah, I I got. I guess, I guess I'm just too old to believe because you start thinking, okay, that's April Fools. Ah. Yeah, I got the Jimmy Fallon one sent to me. God knows how many times from with uh, Maisie Williams plays Arya Stark. Did you see uh, that yeah. one? I I, I mm-hmm. saw the headline for it, but I didn't click on it. Yeah, so like, like, she supposedly just, gives, gives up the information or something. Yeah, like they, you know, he's sitting there talking to her. He's like, "Can you give us like a anything? You know, like just a, a little crumb of anything?" She said, "No, I really can't because blah blah blah." And he's like, "Well, tell you know, tell me, uh, take me through your, you know, your top moments with Arya Stark." You know, so she's like, "Well, you know, season one, blah blah blah, season two, blah blah blah." You know, and then she gets to like the new, and she's like, "You know," and then this year I only found out like in whatever that Arya dies, and then she's like, oh, you know, like you just see it in her face, like she's terrified. Then she's like, "We can cut that out, right?" And then. He's like, yeah, yeah, we can cut it out. Like, let's just act like we went to commercial, you know. And then they came back in, and like she walks off stage, you know, like, oh my god, you know, and that guy's like, eh. yeah, yeah. I, I, I didn't even open that up because I said, oh, that's April for old fools. Yeah, absolutely. But, I mean, it was I, a- I fell for one uh, for like a half a second because it was actually, I think, like many news outlets actually fell for it as well. Unless we had all these news outlets trying to trigger everybody, but Burger King. 
Burger King put out an announcement that they had their Impossible Whopper, which is like their knock on uh, the Impossible Burger, which is a mm-hmm. vegetarian burger. Oh. And I was like, huh. Is it, <laughs> is it, it's conceivable. I mean, why wouldn't they do that? Why wouldn't right. they? Have, like, that's a great idea. Like, Burger King, get off your ass to make it happen. You sell a lot of those things. Those are the fake uh, burgers, right? Yeah. It's like a, it was like a, a fake fake beef burger or whatever because the impossible burger is actually like a brand of burger patty it's made out of uh veggie stuff um i haven't so had I, them. I, any, chase had them are they any good oh i don't know but I yeah mean, <laughs> I, it, it, I, <laughs> i've actually real them, so the ones that always got me were the thank geek ones because it was always stuff that i would want to buy you know mm-hmm. it was like the dharma initiative alarm clock i'm like yeah i want that i'm like you motherfuckers the, the wampa sleeping bag the wampa and then, like, i think they actually wampa ended up making wampa. those they did they, did, they, did, <laughs> they made them flat you know but this one the one i think in the commercial was actually like a stuffed animal that you could crawl mm-hmm. into. I, was like, I want that <laughs> i saw uh, when I, tom brady retired oh yeah i said whatever <laughs> chargers <laughs> win i i, so, I fell for the uh <laughs> I fell for one that was uh, George Lucas returning to direct three Star Wars movies. And I was like, what? Did you post I, on Owen Bruce right away to promote your uh, podcast and been out in six months? <laughs> we did, no, we did one in January, didn't we? Or... Yeah, we, I mean, Nick and I did one, you know. Yeah. So, And, you know, there is an actual trailer that's going to drop here in, in about two weeks. So... <laughs> I, I anticipate it. I'm not saying that it's going to, but you know, it's a good chance. Star Wars celebrations coming up, and um, you know, there's there's a good chance oh, yeah. that uh, oh, you know, we got a trailer there. Yeah. So, well, you got you guys heard the news about Mark Hamill, right? Oh, about voice- him being voicing Chucky. He's the yeah. voice of Chucky. That's brilliant. What? Yeah. Yeah. So yeah. there's a new there's a new they're, uh, they're, child they're play ma- movie coming out. They're, they're making another one. Yeah, and 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 Mark Hamill will be the voice of Chucky, which I think is actually a really smart idea. Like he he's a phenomenal voice actor. Mm-hmm. Like he, in my opinion, the best well, Joker. To be fair, yeah. to be fair, he's from San Diego. So. Now, oh now, I don't I don't know if you guys had, had seen this on on what I shared on on uh, you know Instagram, but um, Mark Hamill. I I mean, up to this point, you know, I I would just say that you know we didn't really know one another. But he did. He did like one of my tweets, so we're we're pretty much friends now. Did he now? Oh. Yes, I replied to actually a tweet of his, and uh, and he liked it. Oh, so you, had, you had time. You had time to do that. It was for a worthy cause. If, 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 I, if I can get Mark Hamill to follow us on Instagram, will you do something? <laughs> <laughs> I doubt that's going to happen. But you know, hey, we're both from. We grew up like. Like three blocks away from each other. All right, well, you know if you can get it to work, sure. All right, I'll work on him. You know, he's like he's like he's a lot older than me, but. I mean, I thought you guys were in the same class, but you know. No, that's so. a warm tap. He used to say that. I go, you, you know, he's like fifteen. I, he would say it all the time. I go, you know, he's like fifteen years older than us. Who? We were in the same class, Mark Hamill. No way. Yeah, he's he's old. He's older than me. He was. Yes, he's all He's older than me. He was like 22 years old, 1976, when he did Star Wars. I thought yeah, 1976, were... I was 14. Oh, I don't know why I thought you graduated high school in like 78 or something like that. <laughs> no, he went to the same high school I did. But oh, okay. before, before I did. I mean, mm-hmm. but one okay. time he's a claim, oh, I, I had class with him. <laughs> um, there's a there's a bionic arm that's been featured recently, and that's what uh, Mark Hamill was tweeting about. Oh, okay. um, there's a it's a hero arm um, that has been developed, and um, you can actually get customizable um, different kind of uh, colors, as well as some some are specifically themed. Whether it's Avengers or they now have like a, a Star Wars BB-8 themed one, and um, there was it kind of made the news because this this boy um, had received one, and I just think this is just amazing. As as someone who has grown up with with a hand deformity my entire life, uh, this is this is one of my ends to Star Wars. Um, kid you not, uh, I'm roughly five years old. I'm seeing Empire Strikes Back, and my mom leans over and says, "Maybe you'll have a hand like that one day." <laughs> oh, nice! You, you, you gotta, you gotta like understand. Like, I was just like hooked after that point. I was like, I yeah. am 
I am Luke Skywalker. Like I'm going to have a hand like that. So closer all the time. It's amazing. This, this hero, um, this hero arm, uh, go ahead and look it up. Um, it's amazing. And it's very affordable. I mean, it's, it's around, I want to say it was around six thousand, seven thousand dollars. Really, that's it. Yeah, I mean, I'm saying that's it. That's, a, but that's I, I mean, this I, is. I would, I would have said like six. I would said like six million for for be, for like those who guy. who don't have a limit. I mean, I'm I'm now at an age where I'm I'm so accustomed to my hand that to to lose it, I would I would have to relearn um, a lot. And I yeah. I'm, would, you, I'm, would, you, I'm, would you would you do it though? I, I don't think so at this point in my life. I mean, you know, had had you posed this question to me younger, you know, uh, I I it would have been a definite like, yeah, to have a hand that can fully open and, and that, that I would have more dexterity with with my, my hand uh, it would be very tempting. So but um, but now at my age, no, I, I wouldn't uh, necessarily go for a bionic hand. But uh, yes, Mark Hamill was yeah, tweeting about this. Yeah. I responded to one of his tweets, and, and uh, hey, I think I think so. I like that tweet because I remember this. Does that mean I'm like the six degrees of Mark Hamill? <laughs> Maybe I, I, I remember you. I remember you talking about it, and I think yeah. I liked it. Okay. Well, anyway, this is a very affordable. This is a very affordable hand, especially for those who who are born without limbs or have lost limbs. I mean, this is an amazing. I can't believe it. I can't believe it's that cheap. It is very reasonable. Uh, You can you can look this up. uh, Hero arm, and uh, they come in very uh, different uh, with designer colors as well as uh, themes. So that would change the whole six million dollar man, though, wouldn't it? It, it would, yeah. That's what they, I thought too. It'd be, like, they, it'd be like the dollar ninety eight man. Well, they could spend more money on other stuff, you know. Yeah. So, like, okay. better. Maybe, maybe he could be more. Uh, like, if he wore short, short shorts. Well, six million dollars goes, you know, not as far these days, too. So yeah, they look yeah. like they're they're three D printed. Yes, which is right. probably which probably helps. Helps bring down the cost bring and down. lightweight too. Like they're not as uh, heavy and cumbersome because of them being being printed. Um, also, also um, you can look it up too. There was a this kid um, that had developed a robot hand out of Legos. It's amazing. Out yeah. of yeah. Legos. Yeah, out of Legos. Did he know he, that he's not supposed to use his imagination anymore? That there's a set design on what you do with Legos. He hacks. I think he. I want to say he had three different uh, versions. Um, but yeah, as a as a young boy, he had worked on this, and then it's it's kind of improved over the years. But yeah, look it up. Um, wow. yeah, kid 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 develops his own bionic hand out of Legos. Just that's, that's phenomenal. Awesome. That's yeah. incredible. Yeah. So. Anyway. Okay, that, he's going to MIT, right? <laughs> that, that, that dude should have some some education behind him because that is that is seriously that is uh, that is incredible. So, yeah. So, you know education, by the way. Hmm. You know you can get some really great education. MIT. No, from our sponsors. Oh. <laughs> You're gonna take a I break a now, here, and then we'll see you after you hear from our sponsor. What's What's the time? Do you know the time? Nine thirty-five. I know, but we don't we don't know what time we hit start though. <laughs> I said, six, six, I said, I, well, someone should have said, pay, paid attention. I said, you ready to go? Yeah. Oh. So, so, so like thirty-one minutes in. Thirty-one minutes in. So, there you go. Colleen's in the chat. I mean, I'm I'm sure she's she's well aware. So. <laughs> Well, according to YouTube, it is actually uh, 29, 28 minutes. 28, 28 minutes in. So there we go. Good job, Chris. Good job. Thanks. Hey, Colleen. Welcome to the chat. Welcome to the chat. She's and probably again, shocked I'm, that I'm here since I quit. Greatest T-ball mom ever. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Yep, I would love to go to that game, but it's okay. I get to, <laughs> uh, I get to hang around the geeks about toys. So. At least, again, at least I'm not answering questions. That's that's the best part. Yeah, I'd have a big fuck you to like anybody that came to me about that. But toys, like, is that an original? <laughs> well, I'm not. I'm not exaggerating. But I sat there and people go, "Would well, you have this?" And I go, uh, "We have what's up here." And then I, I think I told the story. Jay had boxes down below that were like three, 
$3 boxes, $5, but they weren't in order. So I'm trying to remember, okay, that's the $1 box. That's the, I go, why don't you put them five, four, three, two, one? Huh? I go, I'm trying, I'm trying, cause he, but he, but he knows, you know, oh, that's a, that's a Ninja Turtle 5,000. I mean, he, he knows what the damn toys are. I'm like, going, um, can I give you this for it? I go, well, what's it say on the box? It doesn't say anything on the box. Of course it doesn't. <laughs> Well, that's Jay's fault. Yeah, Jack, so Jay was, you, 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 Jack, you should go out and buy a bunch of um, price labels and stick them on all the boxes. Yeah. Well, I'm not doing anything because I, I don't. I don't. Ha- he doesn't have a uh, booth. He's in charge. He's if, running. The if booth. you if you wanted to see a, a different shade of red, that's how you get it. <laughs> you just put stickers on all the boxes and see what happens to Jay. Oh yeah. <laughs> Make sure you put them on a good spot where like when they take the sticker yeah. off it rips the <laughs> like right over the barcode. Oh, I yeah. I see what you're saying. Yeah, so it doesn't make it <laughs> You damaged the container the box. The box. Yeah, yeah I, I saw a funny meme today actually talking talking about toys. It was uh, uh one of my friends posted is that um I like to think that RoboCop is actually part of the Transformers universe and his actual <laughs> art alter ego is Stoptimus Prime or Crime. <laughs> Stopped him as crime. <laughs> that was on the other day. And so Watch, Ro- was, Robocop or Prince Robocop was on. I watched Robocop in a long time. Watched it. Was I'd on. buy and that so, for a dollar. And so yeah. And so was Con Air. Oh, wow. Really? Con, Air. Con Air and and uh, Robocop was it a double feature? Yeah. I think I'll people probably. are listening to the show again. Finally, we got a couple listeners and just making decisions based upon our show. Yeah. Well, we do have a couple listeners. So there we go. We do. <laughs> Despite what Jack likes to say, you know. <coughs> so. Yeah. Okay. so we had um, we had a baby shower this weekend. I saw that. It was that all was about fun. Star Wars cookies. It's well, that, that was, and babies. So yeah, I, I posted that on the uh, on the Hallelujah. Facebook group as well as the um, the Instagram page. So my friend Beth, who makes those phenomenal cookies, uh, did the cookies for our baby shower. Oh yeah, um, yeah. She, she makes really beautiful, beautiful cookies. And then she made me a, a special box of my own, which were um, baby onesies to the theme of Star Wars, which did were you, pretty did you cool. Eat, did you eat those I didn't. I, I couldn't do it. I couldn't bring myself to doing it. What are you going to do? Them. <laughs> you gonna freeze them? I, I don't know. I don't know what I'm going to do. I'm, I, I mean, I know I'm going to eat them. I'm clearly, I'm clearly going to eat them. But I just couldn't eat them at the moment. They're, they were just awesome. Should have picked a Han those, Solo. Should have picked those cookies instead of Keebler's. There's a Han Solo. There's a uh, Princess Leia, Luke, uh, C-3PO, um, and a Stormtrooper like uh, themed one baby's onesies in, on, on the cookies. Very, very cool. Um, how, long and then, course, to, how long did it take her to do those cookies? Because she C-3PO, she has the wiring. Yeah. I yeah, go, I mean, I go. She doesn't shortchange your cookies. No, no, she doesn't. She, um, <laughs> <laughs> oh man, well, everyone's what, favorite. <laughs> one, one, of these, one of these days, I think we have to have like a Patreon level that will we will we'll just re- actually reveal the, the show chat that we have amongst the three of us, four of us. Um, but uh, yeah, she does, she does an outstanding job. I mean, in not even like. Even like the the, the non Star Wars ones were were um, were awesome. You know, they, there's she does a really good job. I can't even look at the screen right now. <laughs> yeah, so that that happened. That was fun. And we also we also did a family photo shoot uh, the same day. That was that was interesting. I'm, I'm listening, Chris. I am. <laughs> yeah, I'm I'm trying to work past it. Just trying to work past it. All right, okay, I'll just fair enough. Like, who would you eat first? <laughs> Chewy. Chewy. Yeah. Chewy's not an option. Oh. There's, more to eat. There's more to eat. Oh uh, my goodness gracious. Did, did, did Luke say use the fork? No. <laughs> You'd eat Luke, but he'd be too whiny. <laughs> well, is, is this Luke or is this Jay? I can't tell. Uh, you wouldn't want to eat R2 because he doesn't taste very well. R2 is also not an option. Oh. Very, very tinny. So. <laughs> And uh, you got what? Uh, you got Hans. Yeah. Hans? Did you say Hans. fucking Hans? Hans? This isn't fucking Die Hard. <laughs> die Hard, yeah. <laughs> Sounds <laughs> Olo. Uh. <laughs> um. Anywho, uh, we should probably move back to cookies. This is going nowhere. <laughs> um, yeah, and, and we, we did. There's uh, no um, chocolate chips. 
we we also did the uh, the the first stage of our uh, pregnancy slash newborn photography stuff too. So we had a friend of mine took some pictures. That was that was interesting. That was cool. But, so do you uh, have like are you have like a scheduled date or it's it's, it's, it's a natural childbirth? It, it's always, uh, as of right now, it's going to be natural. Um, you know, as, as how what's intended. So the due date is the twenty sixth um, of April. Oh, of April. That will be. Oh. Yeah, that's my move-in date. Yeah, it's also a day or two after the goddamn Avengers movie comes out, which I'm kind of pissed about. <laughs> um, but we'll figure that out later. You could not um, a day later. Come on, man. No, so it, it, it's definitely not going to go later than that. I know that for a fact. So, okay. um, be, because of of uh, my wife's age, there is certain risks risks and complications during a pregnancy that can happen after a certain age. Would not. Nothing crazy, but it's just it's better to uh, not prolong than it is to have it have it roll. So, if in, if, if necessary, there will be some inducing um, okay. uh, before the due date. All right, my my uh, son's I, birthday. I, 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 I got a feeling though. I I I got this this gut feeling that it's going to be within the next like two weeks. Week oh, it's going to come weeks. early. Yeah, my son's birthday is the twenty third. So oh, nice. Yeah, so. Um, we'll share a birthday. I, I, I'm, I'm thinking. I'm thinking four fifteen. That's my prediction. Four fifteen. Okay. Four yeah. fifteen. That, that four sixteen. That no. Could have gone with four twenty, but that'd be a little cliche. So what about, eight, what about eight? What about eight fifteen? Well, that would be terrible <laughs> because then my wife would be fucking five hundred pounds, <laughs> and the the baby be far overdue and overdone. <laughs> Um, the doctors would kind, kind of like that. you're way overdone, kind of like your pork chop. I bet you. I bet you're talking talk about the time. The time. No, right? time. No, 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 we're talking date. No, for, I, April fifteenth. I'm still getting over cookies, so I'm sorry. <laughs> <laughs> that happens in the evening, Jack. <laughs> it does. Well, okay. <laughs> it just happens in the evening. That's just you got to have it planned. It's just we can only do it this time. <laughs> Could happen in the morning. Bring your cookies over here. <laughs> <laughs> so five dollar buck to anyone uh, who can get Chris's obstetrician to spoil Avengers during the delivery. <laughs> who said that? A JP. JP. <laughs> Man, I can't believe they killed off. <laughs> no. I was. I read. Another, I'm like meme crazy. I read another like meme the other day, and I'm hoping that my. What, what, what the on duty obstetrician's name is Juan. That'd be fantastic. Because when my wife goes into labor, I can just say, "Hey, Obi Wan, you're our only." <laughs> <laughs> uh, you're just gonna look at you. man. You're a geek. <laughs> <laughs> and I think in in the meme it says, "Can Doctor, can you please remove my husband from the room?" <laughs> <laughs> and we had scheduled C section, so we just we just schedule our time and date. <clears throat> We yeah, it. yeah, we're we're going all natural unless unless necessary. Yeah, but my, uh, uh, my my sister had C sections, and I always give her shit because I'm like, well, you never really gave birth, so oh. yeah, <laughs> just just fucking wow. with it. Wow, yeah. wow, wow. And then, like, and then I, you know, the nephews like, wait, you've you never know, been you don't really have a right? birth date, you know, because like you really, it's like a yank date because I just you know removed you. Yeah. Well, te- technically, the um the date of Conception for my son will be 2014, 15. Oh, that's no. right, because you had the uh, yeah. 2015. Oh, I think yeah, 2015. That's right, so he's already he's already he's already old. old. Yeah, yeah, which is kind of, it's kind of cool, right? So like the uh, yeah, so the the embryo transfer or the embryo freezing happened, I believe, the summer of 2015. All right. Yeah. So he can always say, so like when he's uh, seventeen, he goes well, he goes into a bar, he just flashes his frozen ID, right? Just says, "Hey, I'm twenty one." Exactly. <laughs> there you go. What's actually even cooler is that I actually have, I, I may have mentioned this before. I have a, a friends who uh, they now, they're having they're now expecting their third child. The first two were through um, in uh, what do you call it yeah. um, in vitro um, IVF and. What's kind of interesting is that their son was born first. So the son is, I believe, a year or two older than their daughter. But they're from the same 
like collection essentially wow. of, of, of embryos. Technology so they're, amazing. So they're technically like fraternal twins, hmm. but born at a different time. Hmm. And then they had a third kid without in vitro. It was kind of like a, little, a, a blessing. So baby. that was a little cheap. That was a little cheaper. Yeah, a little bit. <laughs> I know with the I I filmed the. My do- my two daughters are C sections. I filmed them, and um, oh, yes, yeah, yeah, it's on it's on tape. And, um, you but, film the conception, you might as well film the. Well, yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Actually, it's funny you say that. I have a split. I have a, I have, I have, a, I have a split screen, so the kids can enjoy it all. No, but it's, it's, you don't get. They don't let you into a certain point. She's already been cut open, and then they spread the. Skin oh back. no! I can't! I can't! I can't! I can't. <laughs> they spread, spread the skin back. No. Oh. And, and uh, it's funny because the uh, the phone rings. I said, "Hey, we're not taking any calls." And then the the doctors are leaning over, and they have like a suction thing trying to get my daughter out. This is my oldest daughter, and he it slips, and he punches the other doctor in the face. <laughs> and I'm like going, and I'm just looking through the camera, and all of a sudden there's oh, 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 and I'm like going, what, what, what? And then they go, and my wife's looking at me, and I'm like going. Uh, it's a, it's everything's fine. I don't know what. But then you watch the video and you see, oh, he got punched in the face. That's what <laughs> happened. He slipped and goes bam, punched him in the face. So you get oh. all that. The first time I was I wasn't nervous going in and seeing the C section because I didn't know what I was going to see. Uh, the uh, second time uh, I was I was literally freaking uh, out. I'm like, yeah, you could pay me. I'm going to see, see your insides. I'm going to see this. I'm going to see that. And I didn't like watching it on TV when like ER. Yeah. Even though I know it's fake, I go. I have to turn my head. Come, but I was like, "Oh my god, jeez! Oh, just pull back like that." But you have to be calm because she's looking at you like, "Is everything okay?" Yeah, everything's great. Oh, oh fuck <laughs> no! I told you guys a story about my when my daughter was born, right? Maybe I didn't. You passed out or something, right? Oh, I almost did. So they they tell you don't look after the fact because mm-hmm. it's it it will. It'll freak you out because it's not no, something you normally see. So I did it's a really right, great job. Man. I mean, I was there, I, I saw it as as my daughter was born, which is was phenomenal. It was it was a beautiful, beautiful thing. But it's the let's see, lack of better terms, the aftermath. Oh my god! No. Yeah. So I did a great job of like not looking back the whole nine, and I, I the doctor brought me over, the nurse brought me you're, over. You're not going to want to eat that. Meal. And and I, I I got to cut the cord, which is was amazing. And I'm sitting there, and, and my daughter's in the scale. She's weighing out to like six and a half pounds or whatever. It's perfect. It was just beautiful. And I'm like, "Hi, look! Oh, oh, oh! Shit, I looked. <laughs> oh, shit, I looked." <laughs> and I was like, <gasps> and she's like, "What?" I'm like, "Nothing, nothing, nothing at all, nothing at all." <laughs> I had that moment, that one split second moment where I definitely looked. I shouldn't have looked, and man, it was. No, it was it was interesting. We didn't get to, we didn't get to cut the cord back then. I, I don't know. Core oh, yeah. core porn. Uh, so I I think I told this story a long time ago, but my my brother in law, my sister, when they had their first kid, she had the C section, like I said, and, and you know, like a lot like a lot of my parents and his parents, everything else, like when they open the doors, so you can come in and see, like they're not really worried about the husband they're just going straight to see the baby yeah but i as the doors opened i don't know why but i looked at him first and you could just see him like standing there off to the side by himself you know just kind of looking down at the floor and i just kind of walk up to him i was like congrats man he just looks at me he's like yeah you know and he's pale as a sheet (laughs) and and i was like what's wrong man he goes i saw things (laughs) (laughs) And you know, it's just, and I, you know, I didn't quite understand it at the time, and but you know, like I was later explaining like what actually happens in the C section, you know, and like so he saw everything. Oh, and yeah. it's like he's like, you know, he's like, imagine the person you love and you've been with all this time, and then like literally half of their inside is on the table, and you're like, what the fuck? I don't know about now, but back then when you do like the Moz class and and. I was like, well, this is a waste of time because we're not doing Lamaze. We're doing, you know, we're not going to have to do it. It's just snip, snip, you know, cut, cut. And I go, we're not going to do the breathing thing. But they don't teach you. They don't prepare you what you're going to see. 
You know, you, you Lamaze, you get, you know, you're going to have to do this, you this, 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 this. But I, there was no, there was no class for that. There was no, hey, this is what you're, when you're going to walk in, you're going to see this. And you're going to walk in and go, and you have to put on a brave face because your wife is looking, you know, she's, she's mm-hmm. the one going to surgery. She's the one. And you're like going, ah, and you just have to smile. <laughs> and, okay. it's Everything's fine. perfect. It's, fine. Yeah. it's perfect. Oh my God. And then they do the little laser and they burn the skin and you're like, but wasn't this supposed to be done before I got in here? But, uh, they'd have, anyway. to, give, they'd have to give me an epidural from the waist up. I'm they do tell you, oh, you're, you're going to have to leave for so we can put her, we can sew her back together and get everything back in. I go, mm-hmm. okay, I don't have to, I, you don't want me to stay? You should, I can help if you want, but no. Mm-hmm. But I, I wouldn't let anybody hold our, our oldest daughter. I wouldn't let anyone hold her until my wife held her first. Mm. So like everyone's coming in, I go, nope, go away. You can't hold her. And, but my wife has an allergic, she has a bad reaction to uh, anesthesia. Oh. So she's like, you know. Just a mess. So it was like a 24 hours where anyone could hold her other than me. They, they could hold her. And my wife, could you, you didn't let anyone hold her? I go, nope. So you were going to be first. And so that's what we did. Aww. Everyone everyone was pissed. My wife goes, well, you should let someone hold her. That's not the most important time. I go, I thought I was doing the right thing. But it is what you do what you do. But second one, I go, yeah, do whatever you want. <laughs> That's the way. That's why it sucks being the second child, which I am. Are any of you guys second child? I am the second child. Okay. I am also I'm the second. The second I'm the second. Of, I'm the second of four. Well, it's like I have hardly any photos of me ever. You know, growing up, like oh, there's tons of my sister because she's first. But like you have like maybe two per year of me, and if they are, they're probably with my sister. <laughs> you know, like yeah, it's the same way here too. I remember. Like there was like that's also back then we had photo albums. Mm-hmm. <laughs> People remember those? There was like three photo albums of my yeah. brother when he was a kid, and then there was one <laughs> of me. <laughs> and I was like, "Why?" And the mom was like, "Oh no, we didn't have yeah. film back then. We were yeah." Back then. We were, yeah. yeah. And and, and now because going on. <laughs> and now because they're taking with that really shitty, you know, like seventies and early eighties film. Like all the photos now are have that brownish yellow stain to them or like I don't know just from the natural age process of a mm-hmm. photo is that, is that what they're telling you that is <laughs> hopefully they didn't wipe their coffee. ass with it yeah no. man I was going with I know, I know coffee, my, yeah. I know Jay and uh, Heather they have baby books with healthy information in there just are, our youngest one has a baby book and there's like no information <laughs> and I and my wife always goes I feel so bad I go We'll just go make some stuff up. Who cares? <laughs> Her baby book is like too long. Didn't read. It's like the third one. And like she slept all the time. It's just like literally we would forget about her. We would, we, we'd walk out. I go, oh, wait a minute. I'm forgetting someone. Well, that sounds like you were preparing her. Well, you know, it is. what it is. She still sleeps, but she's, she's, had, she, you know, she's uh, two months pregnant now, three months. Didn't do the thing. I said, well, you can forget about that sleeping thing. <laughs> yeah, I'm starting to really not look forward to that lack of sleep bit, but it is what it is. There's, there's nothing you could do to prepare for it. It's not like you can stockpile nope. sleep, you no, know. You uh, but our, yeah. our our kids, all three of them, slept. See, my, but the way I kind of my lifestyle right now, which is definitely going to change <laughs> in the near future, especially all the shooting of heroin. But yeah. Oh, <laughs> what? <laughs> I was going to say, I guess I can't count on you promoting the show, but I guess the heroin. Wow. The, uh, um, problem too, I didn't know about. <laughs> uh, apparently. Um, okay. Uh, but uh, <laughs> but <laughs> it does get expensive, yeah. I guess. Yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, I don't know I where I'm going with that. I my heroin hat habit for you, kid. <laughs> okay um so like my, my, my typical days yeah. like, uh, i mean regardless of when i'm working like i'm typically up from 6 a.m so we'll say it's between 6 and 7 a.m now we know why until 12 1 that's that's typically my my day right. um so i have like a four or five 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 to six hour sleep time that yeah. I have, which i definitely need to not do that anymore i need more sleep um but just what i do so that that's absolutely going to have to change, you know. I'm going to have to uh, probably be sleeping in maybe smaller chunks of time, um, but yeah, sleep when you can. 
Well, here's the thing too, is that I, I don't, I have no excuse. Not this is okay. Let me rephrase that. No, I'm going to say it. I, I have no excuse. Um, it's, it's, it's terrible to say, but you know, in a, with my, with my daughter, there are times where, well, guess what? Mom needs to get up and feed the, the baby unless we had enough, um, you know, milk stored right. in the fridge or whatever. Uh, this time around, it's going to be a hundred percent bottle. So mm, mm-hmm. I I have no dad card to play. <laughs> I have a parent card that I'm going to have to play and be a, be a part of that. And I, I'm not shying away from that. I'm just making light of the situation that I don't have any excuse whatsoever to, to back down. Yeah, it, so. it is tough. Cause I know when uh, I used to tell people, I said, yeah, make sure I go the best. Now they have all these pumps. They have all this different stuff. Well, you know, we were back in the day. It's just like, okay, it was time to eat, you know, connect and stuff like that. Nothing I can do. I yep. guess I'll get some sleep for both of us. Yeah, that's, that but doesn't exist. But then after the formula, I still remember it. my my oldest daughter. She was screaming. I go, "All right, I get it, I get it." And we just had these little plastic inserts that would go in the in the plastic bottle, but it was like a plastic insert that you put the formula in and then put the lid on and pour in the formula without the plastic insert. I go, <laughs> "What? It's going all over the place." It was just it was all over me. I was just pouring the formula in through the plastic without putting the insert in. Oh yeah. All over the floor. I know what you're talking about. When that stuff gets, that formula, when it gets on you, it's the worst. It it doesn't come out. It's just like, I'm like, ah. Then you had to clean it all up. But that that was fun. Those are good times. Yeah. But at the end of the day, though, I'm I'm starting to get really excited. I mean, not that I wasn't, but like, it it just, the excitement is is getting, it's becoming becoming real now. it's It's real. Yeah. You know, like, so much so to the fact that, like, you know, we've we've been given a whole bunch of like hand me down stuff from our friends who have um, have had boys in the past, like clothes and whatnot, gloves and, and bats and uh... yeah. <laughs> but we're also doing the uh, kind of like doing the laundry for it all before. So the smell of like drift, which is the severely overpriced like um, oh baby uh... laundry detergent for yeah. for baby clothes and stuff. But even that that smell brings back you know incredible memories. So it's it's getting real. It's getting really real. But um, yeah, it's good time. Super excited. It's great times. The excitement is literally growing in your wife's belly. Truth, truth. <laughs> and the doctor, we went to another another doctor appointment the other day, and, and she's like, uh, she's looking at the medical records, and again, my, my daughter was born at six point six uh, six pounds six ounces, um, which is six six six. Yeah, an average size kid, I guess. Maybe a little bit. She's a little bit early, but um, the doctor goes, "Yeah, so um, he's going to be bigger than Emma <laughs> because uh, he's there." And there's no way they can really truly measure weight, but they can do it kind of based upon you know um, measurements and size. And like, well, he's measuring to be six pounds six ounces now. <laughs> okay. <laughs> <laughs> that was last week and we got a month ago. So um yeah. So how, how's your wife handle? Is she is she ready to is she getting to that point where okay, we need to get this thing out? Yeah, you know what? She she's she's, she's doing great. Like I, I gotta give her credit and I'm not saying this to blow smoke because you know what? she's not gonna listen to this anyways, but I'll be honest with you. Like she is a phenomenal pregnant woman. Woman. Like a phenomenal pregnant woman. So with with our daughter, it was two two very different pregnancies in the sense that like, you know, with our daughter, she kind of like just did her thing. Didn't worry about like, um, you know, eating super healthy, kind of being really super conscious and it wasn't very, very active. And she kind of just let things roll and, and she, she took it in stride and, and she, she had a great pregnancy with, with our daughter this time around. Um, life is a little bit different, you know, and, uh, we're, we're looking, she's looking at eating a little bit differently during the pregnancy. And she made it a point to not stop her exercise routine, uh, while pregnant. And, uh, she feels it. She didn't feel badly with our daughter, but she feels better this time around. Right. You know, that's good. Um, and my wife's adorable. She's this little thing, and she's she's all belly, which is I think is just cute. You know, um, and uh, I'm all belly. Yeah, you think I'm cute? Yeah, so so cute, Jack. <laughs> um, unfortunately, though, over the last week and a week week and a half, she's gotten really like sick. Not like sick from the pregnancy, but just like. Head oh, okay. and chest cold, yeah. And 
for anyone listening who's no not necessarily connected to someone who's been pregnant when you're when you're sick and you're pregnant there's you can't do shit about it no you can't <laughs> you can you have to kind of just push through it drink your fluids get your rest when you can yeah you can't take and any any medicines can't to take any over the counter stuff yeah. and like and and to be honest with you when you're when you're pregnant you don't sleep well um because yeah. she has to literally turn every Oh, and, and, the, and the flip side of that too when, when they're babies and they're sick too it's like there's nothing you can give them and that's also yeah. like just as bad too because you're just like I know, oh. I know my, my wife when she had our youngest she got a parasite and she was oh. actually lo- she was actually losing weight and we actually oh. had to decide I said okay we had to sh- they gave her some that was they said it shouldn't hurt the baby but if we don't get rid of this parasite it's it's going to hurt the baby. So she had to take, we took a chance and everything worked out right, but she just had to, she had a parasite. And like I said, she was, and I think it's like a month in, she was losing weight. And I said, huh. how is this possible? But she just was sick all the time. We first, we decided it was morning sickness or just, but she was throwing up, you know, nonstop. So, so that's what happened. But like I said, you, there's a certain thing. Like you said, you get sick, you can't take, you know, over the counter medicine. You can't, you can't take anything. Right. Can't smoke. You can't just so many things you can't do anymore. Because <laughs> my mom smoked with me, and I, I still to this day give her crap about it. Yeah. I said because I when I she said she always told I think I told the story before. I used to eat cigarettes. She's she a big smoker, and I used to, and of course back then everyone was. And um, if you want, anyway. So if she, I would eat the cigarette butts, and she goes, I don't know why you did that. I said, Well, you used to smoke when you were pregnant with me. You think maybe I had an addiction? <laughs> you think I was maybe addicted to nicotine? I just like huh? you, have, you have cotton in your stomach. Like, <laughs> so cool. well, I was I was under five pounds, so or something like that. So anyway, it is a weird world. You fucking ate cigarettes. I would, eat the, I, would, I would eat the cigarettes out of the ashtray. That's what that's what she told me. Wow. So, because well, you kids probably don't remember, but there used to be these big ceramic ashtrays all over. The place. Oh yeah, oh yeah. Mm-hmm. So they, you know, every everyone's. Well, my dad didn't smoke, but my mom smoked, and every, all the aunts smoked, and everyone smoked. And I would eat the cigarette. Why? Because I was addicted to the nicotine. I I needed a, I needed to go cold turkey. It was what happened. But oh, I mean, like we lived. I mean, things have changed so much since the eighties. I mean, and especially like just in the PC world. Because I remember as a kid, I. Oh, my dad. That was our hour. Smoked bandages. That's what he smoked was bandages, and I would go every now and then and see a cigarette machine, and then pay money and buy my dad a pack of cigarettes. And be like, here you go, dad. Like you know, and you don't think anything about it because you just know that your dad does that, like like a coke or anything else. But you know, you, you imagine a kid today buying a pack of cigarettes for their dad, and then like you know, where are you going to buy them at? Yeah, exactly. You can't. You don't matter. have machines or anymore. It's, it's inconvenient. Yeah. yeah. What I do like to do when I like, like go to San Diego to this day, I'll take my mom's cigarettes and you know the plastic wrapper on the outside. I take it and turn it up around the other way and put the lighter back in. <laughs> so she's trying to get the cigarette out. Oh. <laughs> <It's upside down. laughs> I like doing things like that. That just makes me happy. <laughs> <laughs> Drives are crazy, but you know, if you want me to come out, that's what's going to have to. It's harder now because the plastic is so cheap. Yeah, uh, you really get, to get the time to do it, to blow it, you know, to get the box back in, you have to kind of squeeze mm-hmm. the box. It's 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 it's, it's an art form. So it is a lost art that you have to try and do, but but I like to do it. I like to do things like that. It's just what I do. But anyway, that's all. Oh, I do. do we have a review? I think we do. do we we want to have some feedback. Yeah, well, we have we have an email. I'm going to hold it because I. I was telling uh, I was telling Matt and Nick Me. before we started, or Nick, I said to get to the email, I might lose the whole thing because this computer's. Oh yes, I got too many things open on different. So just uh, we're just going to be patient with this. And oh, now yes, our, our shows for the uh, let me make announcements. Our note shows until Survivor ends will be on Thursdays at nine a.m. So the Tuesdays, once Survivor ends, we're going to move to Wednesdays at nine a.m. So we're going to release, release by day. Survivor. Yeah. So once Survivor ends, it's just because it's too crowded between Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday. So we're now up for a Thursday 9 a.m. release. Giddy up. Well, well, the guys will keep you updated on Instagram. Hey, so I got got an update on. on, So my computer, knock on wood, has not crashed. 
today. Um, but uh, I think I'm getting a new computer. Wow. Where are you going to Apple? So, yeah, no. so I I, I, I kind of <laughs> floated the idea to my wife, and I was texting her because there's, there's these new MyMax that recently were released, and they're pretty awesome. Um, and uh, I was like, yeah, so I think we're going to get a um, an iMac for the house uh, because, you know, something that we can have in the basement, in, our, in, the, in the spare room, and Emma started to use computers at school. That way we can have a new computer. Like the one I'm using right now, this is a MacBook that I bought uh, in 2012, and it's still – Fairly holding up strong, pretty good for seven years. Um, and she's like, "Well," and I was like, "Just I kind of floated that out there to see what the reaction would be if I get shot down or not." And she's like, uh, "So we're not gonna get a laptop?" And I'm like, "Ooh, that's not a no." <laughs> um, and I'm like, "Well, no, we're not because we can get so much more for our money when it comes to getting a desktop." And then we can keep the laptop around as a spare just to have, have around if we need to. And uh, she's like, "Okay." I bet what what does Apple do now for desktops? Because you don't sell towers anymore. Oh, the iMac. The iMac. What yeah. is? I haven't been in an App Store in a while. The iMac. I mean, I'm I'm not going to go on a commercial, for it, but uh, you should. <laughs> it's okay. I'm stuck. Go ahead. Cool. You should, I actually you should I actually bought out. one uh, about a year a year ago for um, my work. But, so I updated our work computer with a with a nice iMac. So it's sweet. It's huge. I love it. So I used it's to. Great. It's huge. I love it. <laughs> it's huge. You no, know, I used to to podcast from work, and the nice thing about it was is the the, the screen was so so big. Um, I could I could fit uh, multiple screens on there, and I don't know. It was, yeah, it was nice. So um, and and the efficiency, the the, the speed. You know, yeah, and, um, and then the new ones that just got released within the last couple of weeks are, pr- are pretty, pretty awesome. Um, so looking forward to doing that. Um, we have some other priorities that are in line, but it's it's on the docket, I should say. I think the first thing is first we're, we might be looking at getting a, a new swing set for the kids, and I think that's going to be the priority. Oh, kids got a swing set. Those seats are so freaking expensive too. Like oh, yeah. the like the the real like the nice like wooden ones, the creative play things, or the the brands that's what, are, that's but Jay has it. it it's, I go, how much was it? Oh just my get, a, get a, a, tire, a tire and a rope. <laughs> <laughs> that's what they um, would, you know. It's funny you saying that, but that's what they'd play most with. Yeah, yeah. but well, out here the stakes are probably hiding them. To be, to be fair, um, though, our, our friends our friends have in, in my old house. I didn't I didn't move with it. I, I inherited you know a hand me down. The nice one and my daughter used it constantly and our friends that we go over and hang out during the summertime they have one in their backyard and the kids are all over that thing if they're not in the their neighbors or our friend's pool they're um they're on the that swing set so it's it's a it's a really good investment especially if you get the really good quality ones um i've i've once tried to assemble one of those things with my brother <laughs> Back in the day, uh, we thought we'd save a few hundred bucks by assembling on our own. So my brother and I uh, got all the parts and, and took uh, 13 hours to, to do it because we didn't know what the hell we were doing. But uh, <laughs> anyways, yeah, it's so a new computer. Why, might you be know why it so long? Your dad threw away your Legos. I know. I know. All, all that en- engineering practice, I just went right out the window. <laughs> it's tough. Anywho. So we did. We got a review, though. Yeah, and yeah. We'll, save, we'll save Joanne's with, with the plans email until next week. Oh, okay. Uh, that works for you guys. Yeah, so fine. This, sure. this review is from John OS Mac Mini. So I guess he's a Mac fan. Wow. Uh, so it's going to be a good review for Chris. The title is "Great Podcast for Your Commute," nice. and it might it might be one of the best ones we've ever had. Uh, <laughs> Carry well, on. Love listening to these guys ramble on. Nick's intro interludes are top notch. See, it's just automatic. Great. <laughs> uh, you should have said Nick OS. Or, anyway. uh, for the for the really good stuff, make sure you become a patron to get the extension podcast. Yeah, there oh, you go. There nice. You go. This there is a very recent too because this is a this is an extension one. And yeah, I, I we 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 do. We put some some joy or joy love. Effort. effort, effort. That there you go. Effort. Probably. I think that's the word you're looking for. But uh, our joy, effort brings joy effort. and love to others. Yes. So and I think uh, I think it rewards you with a uh, Casey mighty Casey has struck out drawing of Taffy at bat from Matt. <laughs> <laughs> Taffy's or, ball. Or a, or a princess or a princess Leia cookie. 
<laughs> Man, you ain't my, you're not getting my cookies. <laughs> or can you, cookies. Can you imagine eating a yes. Princess Leia? Cookie? Yes, absolutely. I would I would I would love to I would love to uh to send uh, this this kind review reviewer a drawing. So uh if you want to send us an email also as well. Uh, with your with your address, um, if you don't want a drawing, no no pressure. You know, Nick Nick will kindly uh, you know sing you a song instead. But uh, I, I'd be more than happy to to drop drop you a postcard so in the mail. Where would where would they send? Where would he send that information? To? Well, we the send mailing us address email. and let him know he was the guy that sent the review. To send us an email, uh, send it to rcadcast at, at gmail. gmail.com. Yes, correct. Um, and I, I finally got uh, uh, the other one out to um, Orlando. So uh, thank you for that. Um, and I, I followed up. Hopefully you get it someday soon. So okay. someday soon. Well, stamp? Did you? Uh, did you? John Lennon, of course. Uh-huh. So I've been loving the Lennon stamps right now. So um, to, until they're until they're gone for my my work, I, I'm a little bit slower about mailing because when we did podcast in the past and I was at work. It was almost like it was it was easier for me because that's that's where I, I ship out all my oh, okay. drawings. Makes so sense. yeah. So what so, do you have? What do you have? What do you have today? What have you been I, I actually haven't been drawing today. Sorry, guys. I, are you in a I, different? You're you're still in the same location, just a different angle. Different angle, different different side of the room. This is this is kind of more more. Hey, what's, by, what's, uh, hanging, what's hanging up behind you? I've been trying to figure that out the whole time. Like um, a blue, something blue and yellow. Uh yeah, it's a the it's a painting that I've been work, working on um, in the background there. It is... Uh, no, no, up, up in the rafters. Up in the rafters. Oh, I think that that blue thing up there is a flag, maybe? Is that, is that what you're talking about? Okay, I thought it was like a string of thongs. <laughs> uh, <laughs> that's, <laughs> that's exactly what people would think that would be in my basement. It's just yeah. all that's of my... Like, um, I, I gotta go with this. That's what I thought it was. <laughs> <laughs> All of my conquests over the years of, of being a nice guy, I've yeah. stolen, s- stolen all the thongs of every woman that I've loved. And, it's the man cave, yeah. Yeah, yeah. hung them up in, in my studio. So. Nice. Like the flags, daddy! Well, so that, that reviewer <laughs> did mention uh, the Extension Podcast, which is exclusive to our patron group. Mm-hmm. How, do you, how do you become a patron? Huh. Well, that's a good question. <laughs> You go to jandjack.com. Uh, there's a patron link right there. Uh, for the the one dollar level, uh, you can join us on our live show, which we're doing right now. Um, for the no, I don't know that's what a, Jack's that's a showing. Fiver. To. That's a fiver. What is it? What, I have no idea. Jack's Jack's waving at me. Tell tell him what they win. Jack. Well, the one dollar level, you get you get to join the patrons Facebook group where we have exclusive threads and more inside jokes. Oh, okay. I, I thought for some reason this, this show is at the $1 level, but it was, it, it, it was, but Jay's passed some new rules. Oh, uh, Jay, Jay. <laughs> <laughs> you just done did it right there. So it's, not, it's, not, it's, not, it's, not, it's not your fault. It's not your fault, Ben Matt. <laughs> None of us oh, were informed my. of that rule. I forgot to tell you, but it was. I thought didn't Jay talk about it on the? Uh, no. uh, damn. No, 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 well, hey, no. check out. So no. it is, it is definitely worth it to become a patron. You can join the Facebook group. There's a lot of cool conversations that happen there. Like for instance, I actually posted a link to my friend's uh, Beth's Cookie Company. So if you're interested in seeing those Star Wars cookies before Matt eats them. Um, they are posted on <laughs> the Jay and Jack only, Facebook. He's only eating one character. <sighs> on the patron page, they are posted. There's also a link to her business, too. I just talked to her just yesterday, and I said, hey, if I post these, uh, will you make cookies for people and ship them? And she says, well, yeah, why not? So if you're interested in her cookies, you can check out her Facebook group, which is posted on the, on the, on the patron page. Um, and get in touch with Beth, my friend Beth, and she can make some custom cookies. And you. It, if you haven't seen them, you, you, go to our Instagram account where Matt, yeah. Nick, and uh, and uh, Chris are taking care of it now. RCAD Cast. Yes. Uh, it's on. Uh, we're on both on Instagram and Twitter, uh, where Jack no longer lives. No, I'll do the Twitter, and I, I can't expect you guys to do too much. <laughs> and uh, <laughs> let's see. Um, go to RCAD Cast, and you'll see the cookies. And you'll see 
I think there's, you have a link to, you, you put a link on there to her, uh, I can't. Yes. You can't, you can't, yeah, you can't, I can't put the link, but if you wanted to find her on on the Facebook, where there's some there's some actually some photos from the baby shower from this weekend and uh, all of her other cookies, um, you can find her at Bardellini's Creative Confections. It's B A R D E L L I N I apostrophe S Creative Confections, and she does have now have a verified Facebook business page, which oh, is pretty wow. cool. That's good. That's good to have. Yes. <laughs> good to know. Um, anyway, uh, we also have an Amazon affiliate link. So, uh, Amazon dot. No. Yep. That's right. I, okay. I always get it backwards, but it's right. It's amazon.com slash Jane Jack. Yes. And, uh, every little bit goes to help all of the podcasters. It kind of goes into one big giant pool that, uh, Jay jumps around in and swims like Scrooge McDuck. So, uh, <laughs> You got that right. You got the Scrooge part right. Okay, I did get that part right. Good, good. But um, but if you are a patron, we really appreciate it. And and really, like at the, at the five dollar level, you get a lot of bonus material that we've kind of beefed that up. So all of the podcasts have, have really yeah, beefed up the yeah. Because what's going to happen now? We're no longer going to do the hangout show. Oh, Jane, Janie just informed me. No, it's jandjack dot com slash Amazon. So I'm sorry, Janie. Uh, that I messed that up. And you think thank you'd have, you think you'd know it by now? I know That's because awesome. you know I feel like I'm going to get some some hate email. Um, so. No, they'll they'll blame me. They said, "Well, uh, you should have done it." Sorry, Sherry. So um, she's you know it's I'm a little rusty. You know we we missed a week. We did miss, uh, we, we did miss a week. It was Janie. You didn't get her name right. <laughs> he didn't get her name right. No, I said I said Janie, but no, no, Sherry. Said Sherry. You said Sherry. You said, I, oh, Sherry. I started okay. to go, Sherry, until I looked and I went, oh, it's Janie. But I'm, I'm talking about a different Jay and Jack listener, oh, Sherry. Yeah. So and the also response is, it's okay, Matt. You're still my favorite. <laughs> what, yeah. Whatever, Janie. <laughs> I did I yeah, did say yeah, Jamie yeah. first, and yeah. then I also mentioned Sherry because Sherry is the one that has correct. You are so yeah. full of shit. What, what could, I didn't what, check the tapes. I said both names. Now hold on a second. What what could Matt do where people would finally start going? Okay, all right, Matt's not my favorite anymore. What could he possibly do? I, I'm asking this for the listeners. What could Matt possibly do that people would go? All right, no, Matt's no longer my favorite. He does the whole cookie thing, and I'm sure he's going to get. Cl- well, the three of us will get blamed for that. Yeah. Whatever. Uh, Matt's got a Matt's got a dark side to him. Become a Patreon a Patriots <laughs> fan, says Jamie. <laughs> Jamie, you're on my shit list, girl. You're on my shit list. <laughs> well, I believe she's a Raiders Just fan. Kidding. Am I correct? Oh, I believe she's well, a Raiders fan. It better be a Raiders fan than a Chargers fan, for Christ's sake. <laughs> well, I'm I'm switching. I'm going to pick a new team here soon. I I probably will announce it soon. What team I'm going to support hmm. in the upcoming? Season. Well, I, I I guess the the AFF Football League folded today. The oh, what? It didn't even really get started. No, I guess the owner said, "Ah, we're done." So, uh, I the, the the San Diego team was actually drawing pretty well, and they just said, "Ah, screw it." So I'm sure everyone's going to go see San Diego can't support a team. <laughs> and it was the fucking league that folded, but uh, yeah, it is what it is. Yep, she's I, she's a Raider fan. I used to, I, of course, being a charter, a former Charger fan, we used to have a little rivalry there, saying, you know, she'd say, "Oh, we won, whatever." But now I don't care. I want. You I, I love. I love that he keeps saying a former Chargers fan. But anybody who's listening at home and not listening to the live show and watching what's happening right now, literally every piece of decoration behind Jack oh. is a San Diego Charger. San Diego. I'm a San Diego Charger fan. I'm not an LA Charger fan. No. And since they no longer play in San Diego, fuck you, Dean Spanos. I think I think Matt, Chris, and I should choose which team you become the next oh, fan. Of. Yes, yeah, yeah, I like that. No, you will stick me with Jacksonville or something like no, that, I, I, or, or I, I, for, I, the, for the ne- for the next one hundred dollar patron I, donation, they yeah. can choose. Yeah, I, I'm leaning towards, I, I, I'm leaning towards I, the Bengals. <laughs> I, I, I thought you were going to say that. I, there's no way I could root for the Raiders. Let's that, stick him with the no Browns. Way I <laughs> you know what? I, I almost picked, the Browns were on my list. Oh. Browns, you are Browns, a glutton for punishment. Yeah. Well, I, I don't. I'm not used to winning. I'm used to being disappointed. But the Browns do. Let's face it. The Browns do have an up and coming team. Uh huh. They, they do. Hmm. 
I mean, you look at uh, Patriots just lost Gronkowski. Yeah. Great player, not the GOAT, not the GOAT of tight ends. But he he's is a, absolutely the GOAT of tight ends. He is not the GOAT of tight ends. Over Tony Gonzalez, over Kellen Winslow, o- over Antonio Gates. I, I like I like Dennis's uh, suggestion here. A three way versus game, Jack. So a three way versus each each one of us picks a team that Jack Jack should. Well, how about I how about I pick a team? No, you don't get a pick. We get you. You, you yeah. can't even stick with a team. How are you going to pick one? We should pick it for you. I stuck with a team for fucking fifty years and got <laughs> so over. So you leave it up to us your first three. mistake. You know, my, my you team, stuck, with, my you stuck team. on a stinking ship. I I but I because I was loyal. And what what did I get out of loyalty? Fuck you is what I got. And now now I've, the Padres are looking good. The Padres are selling out. It's fun. It's and I, but there's people on Twitter. I have an argument with a guy on Twitter. He's like, I, I didn't. I, I I this is bullshit. I got so excited that they were going to be good. They're fucking three and two. And he goes, well, they lost to a guy that's like 29 years old and never won. I go, dude, the season is 162 games. Relax. He's like going. I go, people come here and they suck. How's, Manny how's, Machado how's, how's, how's your run? boy Machado doing? <laughs> he's been he's played go, great defensively. Who's who's that rookie that you guys have this year? Fernando Tatis. Tatis. He, 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 he will be a Hall of Famer. He will dude, he is a better deal than Machado right now. Well, because he's making minimum wage. I, exactly. Like that dude's gonna be a stud. And we got him from the White Sox. <laughs> who were bidding heavily for Machado and didn't get him. <laughs> I'm sorry if you're a White Sox fan. I, 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 but when you guys were arguing you had better carne asada and Mexican food than San Diego, you lost me. Wait, who you said that? Me. That was going on on Twitter. It was, it was a, there was a war going on between White Sox fans and Padre fans. And they're going back and forth. And But yet they started saying, we have we have better Mexican food in Chicago than they do in San Diego. Go, oh, God. Come on now. What, that, what the that, fuck? That, that, you want to say pizza? Okay, but yeah. come on now. Fuck can't you. Even, you can't even make that argument. No. So they were, they, no, one, they, no one picks deep dish. They were, they oh, were saying, oh, I picked a different, man. Deep dish is something else, man. It's its own thing, though. Like To me, a deep dish is not pizza. It, it is, but it's not. Yeah. That's, you know, that's, that's another verse to itself, too. <laughs> Anywho. All right, so on that note... Uh, Why are you still you're... arguing homemade chocolate chips? What? Uh-oh. What? I just saw your your your, your little text there. Your little... No, no, JP's just trying to, you know, get, get me, get my goat here. I'm just saying homemade chocolate chips, you know, you guys... You well, they know. are the they are the best, but that wasn't in the contest. Okay, the, the versus... Wait, I can't believe we're getting back to this shit. <laughs> chips to horse. Chips to horse. Was, was for Matt, cookies. Matt, you never said oh, store bought cookies. It Matt, could be any cookie. Just, Matt. just, just, just accept it. Just accept it. Just accept it. it. Just accept it. Just accept it. Oh no, I just, did not make a mistake. Just accept. I picked fourth. Out you of were talking people, out of your asshole last and week, and I won. And I, I won. Was, I, I, I should have been allowed to pick homemade chocolate chips. That's all I'm saying. No, I'll you can't pick. do that. You can't because you because you don't know what if no. you, what if the homemade chocolate chips are that crappy. It could be yeah. crappy. Okay, well then that was a terrible act- addition to the contest. Just admit it. I've, I, I've had bad. I mean, where people, you know, at work, they go, "I just made some homemade chocolate okay. chip cookies." You go, "Oh, when- I love homemade." Ch-. And you would go, "Oh my god, these things suck!" But you can't say that. Do you work right. with these people? When, when when have you had a good uh, peanut butter cookie? I love Girl Scout. I used to love the Girl Scout peanut butter. No, cookies. no, no. I'm talking about like the the homemade peanut butter cookies. Like peanut butter cookies that are homemade are really good, but you can't buy a decent peanut butter cookie from the store. So for the contest, Matt, you can't have a, you cannot have a valid standard when it comes to a subjective mm. grandma cookie. And this guy's your favorite. Such a complainer. <laughs> All right, so um, go on to Amazon and uh, with Jay again. Buy, your, buy your favorite homemade cookie. Um, tell me what you think. So I'm, like I'm, I'm, I'm done. I'm <laughs> stick it. You, you, you guys have got Matt quits. Call me <laughs> I quit. I quit the Matt only show. Well, and, I guess we'll have something new on our, the RCAD cast what what, what do matt and the chargers have in common <laughs> they both quit their own show. <laughs> <laughs> all right guys 
Great show. That was one in a layer. <laughs> but we're not. Oh, we're not- <laughs> oh nice job there, Matt. Nice well done. Well done. <laughs> So, how does one become a patron? Or we already covered that. Is it we did. Yeah, you go to jadepeck.com. You go to Amazon. I, I oh. did it wrong. I said sorry to share, even though she's not in the chat. <laughs> I I mentioned Janie. Check the tapes. Check. Yeah, you, you, you did. You mentioned Janie first, and then you called her Sherry like six no, seconds I, later. I wasn't calling her Sherry. I was Janie Sherry. I think it's Sherry. I think your name's Sherry. At what least can't I you have know. homemade chocolate chip cookies? At least Janie, and he's your favorite? For Christ's sake. No, I didn't call her well, Sherry. It was to be fair, she's um, a Raiders Sherry. fan. Yeah. But at least I, I, at least I can fucking spell Cherry. She even admitted on the, in the chat here. It's like, it's okay. You're still my favorite. So she even acknowledges that you called her in a different that name. That you were wrong. I did not. You never call a woman by a different name. It's like 15-year-old mistake. I did oh, not. I wasn't that. even referring to her. I was talking to the other shirt. All right, whatever. Yeah, oh, whatever. I'm out. I'm out. Katie says, F you, Jack. <laughs> <laughs> what? How do I get F you, Jack? Because well, you're shitting on her because she's a Raiders fan. Oh, man. Yeah, 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 true. Your team right. doesn't even exist. Well, neither does her. It's moved like 10 times. It's moving again. Yet those Raider fans stay loyal. I don't yeah, get it. Yeah, but the Raider fans would kill Pat Padres fans or Chargers fans. Would this, kill Chargers? This time well, oh, yeah. I'd like to take oh, yeah. a commercial break. Yeah. Well they're, they're they're saying that they, they could they could never move they could never move the uh the Raiders to Vegas because ninety percent of their fans exactly. are just not allowed to leave the exactly. state. Well, they, have, they have they have those bracelets. Yeah exactly the ankle bracelets they can't leave the state lines. <laughs> Anywho how are you gonna sell out? How are you gonna sell out for Raider fans? NPF NPF the jails. Oh, <laughs> so, anyways, so we we've talked a lot about patrons. We have some special patrons. We probably should. Um, call oh, they're them. all they're all specials except for they are all special. Um, except the, except the one dollar ones now apparently. Oh, oh <laughs> damn! That's so sad. You can send an hate mail to J at J and J. I I finally just gave up. I said, do whatever you guys want. It's not my it's not my call. <laughs> But we thank Tat from Tokyo, Eckhart Rickner Glaffler, Ed the Creeper Lip, Ed, Ed the Creepy Post Post Postman. Whatever I just call him a letter carrier. letter carrier. He's not creepy. He's not creepy to me. I've met Ed. He's a solid I dude. He, I guess he wants to be called that. But I always said letter carrier, and they said no. You're supposed to call him postal uh, mailman. I said, well, that's the. It's, it's, it's definitely that's, letter carrier. It's incorrect. It's letter carrier now. Yeah. Yeah. I just go by the rules. Uh, Joanne with a plan, Maggie Magnificent, and the Drake, who is really not on my list, is not on my list because he was really helped. He was he didn't seem to care that I was leaving. And you don't know that he's creepy, Matt, because I've met Dan, and he's not a serial killer when I'm around him, but I just know that he is. Never mind, that would fell flat. <laughs> <laughs> Well, I was reading. Janie said, "Oh, at least we okay. won Super Bowl rings." Yeah, well, how long ago? I think I think I still had hair. Hey, when you guys won a Super Bowl, that's true. <laughs> yeah, at least she still has a team. Well, no, she doesn't. It's it's in oh, it's it's moving. It's, it's going to be the Vegas. loss. That's no, never going to roll off the tongue. Las Vegas Raiders. In fact, the Raiders had to beg for they had to beg Oakland to play in Oakland this season. Yeah, aren't they going to be playing in San Diego next season? No, the commissioner wouldn't allow it. Dickhead. Anyway, fuck Roger Goodell. Yeah, that's true. I'm just kidding. I, I'll, I'll root for the Raiders every time they play the Chargers. You can't. You can't uh, choose the Raiders. No, I think this is next week's. Version. I think. I think it is. Too. I think it's a good one. Yeah. So, fuck all right. Whatever. Um, I'm rooting for the homemade we, cookie, the homemade chocolate chip cookie team. So. <laughs> It's true Wait. fact that Matt stole cookies from the Girl Scouts. I did not steal. Well, that's You're why you want to make up shit now. Are you holding? Are you holding the Thin Mints hostage? I will eventually eat the Thin Mints. God, can we quit the show? <laughs> I'm just trying to find a reason for people to not have you be their favorite. That's all. Oh. <laughs> Remember, if you if if Matt's your favorite, he hates Thin Mint. Chocolate chip. He hates the Girl Scouts. Girl Scouts. He hates Girl Scouts. Yeah, Scouts. I, I, will, I will. Okay, no. Here's what I like to do with the Thin Mints. Okay. You hit the Girl Scouts of America, Chuck. The Girl I, Scouts of America. 
I thought you wanted I like, to, I like to crush up the Thin Mints and either put them on ice cream or uh, yogurt. So um, I crush the Thin Mint. Um, well, why? Anyway. I, I just do. I just like it that way. I don't, I don't, know I I don't tell it. you how to eat your Chips Ahoy, Mr. Oh, Chips Ahoy won. Cause, you well, know, I'm just, I'm just saying that I picked fourth and they won. So that's mm-hmm. what you're going to say. Yeah, well, at least it wasn't E.T. <laughs> well, I didn't pick E.T. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Um, great show, guys. That was one in Alea. Uh, <laughs> just one? Just one. Just one in Alea. So. Like so those, Sherry, yeah. I like, I like Sherry, Sherry, who's the only one in the chat. Thanks for listening to us. <laughs> hey, see you next Thursday. It still works. It does. Yeah. It still works. Yeah. Yes. You uh, you came in that thing. You're braver than I thought. <laughs> <laughs> All right, guys. Good night, everybody. Bye. Bye. Thanks to everyone who joined us in the chat. <laughs>